Sue's Tech Kitchen started actually as a cookbook for families that was kind of about this girl Sue who loves cooking and science and I was thinking maybe instead of a book we should actually open Sue's Tech Kitchen. We have 25 different experiences that families can do. You can actually engage with virtual reality, you can learn how to code robots, you can make electro play-doh. We have 3D printers making chocolate. Here's the Seuss Tech Kitchen cool. logo printed for you in chocolate. Yeah. Very precise. Yeah. And we also have our STEM bar, which is where you can really learn about food and how food is made in different DIY ways, taking classes. There are thousands of ways to introduce your family to tech that don't involve screens. It can be delightful. It can bring people together. We've always had these conversations. Are we going into this dystopian future? We hear negative things all the time. It's like you're at a constant battle to change that narrative. I think it starts with uh, getting kids introduced to tech and science at a young age that's fun. Also teaching them that kids and tech isn't just handing a kid an iPad. You know, there are all kinds of fun things that you could do with liquid nitrogen. We're deep freezing cereal balls. Take a few. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We have these apples connected up to capacitors underneath. When you touch the apple, that expands the capacity of the apple. That jump in capacitance tells the computer to do something, hmm. right? And we've told it to make Play a music. sound in this <laughs> case. Why is it so personal to you? I loved my time in Silicon Valley, but it's also, it's pretty exhausting and frustrating to be the only woman in the room. I joke, but it's not really a funny joke. The best advice that I have for young women who want to get into tech is to have a male name like Randy. Because I can't tell you how many emails I sent off to get a meeting that probably only got answered because someone thought they were meeting with a guy. You need to work three times as hard to be recognized. That's one thing I kept thinking about was how can we make it so that 10, 20 years from now it's different. It's really around third and fourth grade that we start to lose girls in tech. So for me, everything that I do, I have in the back of my mind that third and fourth grade girl. What can I do for her that's going to just spark that delight around tech and science that's going to make her want to stick with it? We've always spoken about diversity and all this stuff throughout the years, but something has happened in the last you know, months with the Me Too movement. People we both probably know have been yes. called out publicly. What do you think can be done? Well, first of all, I think it's great that so many people feel comfortable coming forward with their stories because that's the only way that change happens. Unfortunately, one of the adverse effects that I'm seeing is that parents who were already wary of introducing their kids to tech now see the tech industry as this toxic, scary place. They're even uh, less likely to want to introduce technology or guide their kids towards learning about the tech world. So that's why I think it's even more important to show the other side of tech. I actually think this is one of the most important and critical challenges that's facing us right now is to make sure that our children, especially our girls, are educated and ready to take jobs in tech. And eat some s'mores too while we're at yes. it, right? And, <laughs> and make it delicious. Okay.